So this uh, workshop is a bit of a kind of stepping stone towards work that will then be moving more into the countries. And specifically, uh, we uh, Climate Smart Agriculture has three pillars. Uh, and it's about food security, adaptation to climate change, uh, but also about the co-benefits of greenhouse gas mitigation. So the first part of this workshop uh, looks at greenhouse gas mitigation, the potential, and uh, trying to collect evidence and data uh, that would then feed into the investment proposal. So this is the first step uh, towards developing uh, these investment proposals. Uh, the second part of the workshop uh, focuses in more on participatory scenario building. Uh, and this, uh, the project touches on many aspects of climate smart agriculture, uh, both policies, institutions, economics. Uh, so we felt that this, uh, we needed a, to build a narrative uh, for the countries with country participation uh, so that we uh, are investing uh, resources into uh, this dialogue uh, with stakeholders in the countries so that uh, a shared vision uh, of where the country is going and uh, how the Climate Smart Agriculture Project can contribute in this kind of shared vision. Uh, in Malawi, uh, Climate Smart Agriculture is very important because uh, Malawi is an agriculture-based uh, country and uh, we have got several challenges that we are experiencing in agriculture production. One of the challenges is that uh, there's a problem of land degradation and there's also a problem of uh, climate change and respect of uh, rainfall viability. And we think that um, promoting CSA in the country will really assist to uh, minimize the, these negative impacts of uh, uh, land degradation and the climate change to agriculture production. Climate smart agriculture is in, in quite important in our country, especially a country like Zambia. Uh, owing to the ever-changing uh, seasonal variations in terms of climate, so this really affects uh, the productivity and production of uh, either crops or the livestock. As a country, there are quite a number of activities that uh, uh, we are involved in. Uh, Partly as a government institution, like Minister of Agriculture and Livestock, in conjunction with the Conservation Farming Unit of, um, of our country, where there are a lot of agricultural farming practices that we are trying to impart in, into uh, our farmers. And we hope that probably with the, the training that we are supposed to, to get from the uh, FAO in terms of uh, conducting climate uh, smart agriculture activities, we'll be able to incorporate uh, some of the uh, activities which we are doing so that uh, most of our activities are climate smart. Uh, climate smart agriculture is uh, one of our priority to uh, capture the synergies between food security, climate change, adaptation and mitigation for sustainable social and economic development of the country. So in Vietnam, uh, agriculture sector is the most uh, affected by climate change. We try to respond to climate change in order to achieve a sustainable uh, agriculture development. And um, we do the adaptation, also mitigation. But for the sector, agriculture sector, some of the solution is cannot separate, which is adaptive or mitigate. So I think uh, it's important of the climate smart agriculture is it can capture the synergies between the adaptation and mitigation. Well, or, or we can say that it's integrated between adaptation and mitigation measure. So. I think it's very important. You know, our country um, is divided into different sectors that uh, have got different roles in terms of their contribution to the economy. And in my case, um, I'm working in the environment and climate change management uh, sector. 
um, the introduction of this project, we look at it as a very useful um, to the sector because um, it will contribute um, to the improved environment, uh, climate change, and natural uh, and natural resource um, status in the country, and we also uh, contribute to improved adoption of uh, adaptation and mitigation uh, measures that uh, um, the government is uh, uh, trying to promote. So we feel this project is very important and uh, um, the sector will benefit from it. Well, at the moment, actually, we are working on very much first collecting some evidence about uh, how the existing climate smart agricultural practices are performing from both uh, the social economic point of view looking at what are the factors that contribute to the adoption of some of these practices, looking at are they equally profitable for the farmers and can they put the food on the table for the farmers as the conventional methods used to do under uh, the, the normal climate that we used, uh, those uh, practices were developed for. So we, the other activities that we are involved in is building the capacity of our government uh, partners to try and get a grip, uh, try to get to grips and an understanding of what the consequences of uh, uh, climate smart agriculture is and also to capacity build them so that they can be able to input into the international discussions on climate change. We can um, strengthen or, or, or create more uh, alternative for livelihood of the farmer in Vietnam through this project. My role in this project as a researcher, as you know that I, re uh, I um, received a scholarship from the project uh, to study a PhD program in Italy. And uh, uh, in my research, I will focus on uh, the barrier for farmers to adopt uh, CSA practices. So uh, I hope that with research, I can uh, identify the problem uh, related to uh, CSA practices application for northern farmer farmers in Vietnam.